Hello. So start at the next blog. And uh, I had two different people here sorting at two different points today. And during part of that time, I was dealing with two pick-a-brick cups that I picked up at the Lego store yesterday. Uh, I went to the Lego store to meet somebody that was going to come by here for a tour. Uh, and they did come by for a tour afterwards. And then after that, went to the lug meeting. So it was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but I bought two pick-a-brick cups there. But I've already put them away because, uh, like I said, somebody was here and I just wanted to get that done. But I did. I pulled up the file on Brickstore so you can see the parts that I got and the prices that I had posted them at. So, yeah, some decent stuff in there. Uh, only two of them were brand new pieces to me, but that's okay. And some of them I didn't have all that many, so adding more is good. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're just about to start on the modified plate uh, actually, another friend was here tonight. We had some dinner, and uh, he came down. I showed him stuff, and he went and sorted this particular shoebox of uh, modified plate. And it's basically a lot of the big plate. So he sorted this quickly. So that was kind of cool. Didn't ask him to do it. He just he can't really sit still a long, long time. So we did that, and uh, yeah, I got all sorts of stuff done. Um, I'm really going to need to start washing some of the pieces in these totes over here because... Some of them are getting full, and I have two categories where there's two totes now, so that really shouldn't be the case. Uh, but luckily, I still have room because there's two totes that aren't even labeled yet, and then there's a Duplo tote that has nothing in it. So I really have, you know, three totes worth of space over there, but I really need to start getting washing stuff. Uh, so we're going to try to concentrate on the totes that are fullest first, because those are the ones that will probably get completely full first. Uh, we'll probably do some washing in the next few days. Um, I really have complete space over on this shelf. I mean, that one tote on the top that has stuff in it, those are sealed poly bags that were found. And then this tote below it here has a few stray pieces in it. I'll just pull those out. And I put them there because they were washed, but they were in with the wrong parts. And so I haven't uh, sorted that particular category yet. So I just figured I'll dump them in there because they're already washed. But I could just as soon re rewash them or just put them in a small container off to the side knowing that they just need to get added to the their respective category once it does get washed that is all i've got at the moment uh and as always if you've got any questions or comments please leave them down below and i appreciate it thank you very much hello so it's uh later on tuesday and i've already sorted these by color and on the quality control these are the rejects over here uh, some kind of minor and some less minor. Uh, and these are the ones we're going to be uploading. This is what I'm going to call large modified plate. Uh, although I did find out that apparently this piece here is considered a modified brick, even though it's only two-thirds of a brick high at best, as is, I believe, this one. Again, only two-thirds of a brick high, and I'm calling it a modified brick. I'm like, well, I went the other direction. I call it a modified plate. But in any case. Uh, and there's a couple of different versions of these trapdoor pieces. I figured that out pretty quickly and got that taken care of. There's also, uh, there's technically three versions of these pieces, although I only had two. Essentially, there's this one that doesn't have the hole in the middle, and this one that does have the hole in the middle. And there is a third version, but I, I don't think it's very common at all. But, uh, yeah, that is what I'm up to at this point, and we're going to probably break for the night, and we'll get back to this sometime tomorrow. Anyways, as always, thank you very much. Hello. So it is Friday, and I've been working on stuff. I've been uh, getting some more of the modified plate catalog. So here's a bunch of it right here. You can see different things that uh, are about to go into inventory. Uh, there's a few less of the shoe boxes here. I've had a lot of other stuff going on as well. Um, and then this is, uh, this is the longs category that I've been working on. So these are other longer modified plate type pieces that... Uh, I'm going to be adding in, but I'm basically, because there's this shelf, has still got the totes on it, I'm just going to do one shelf at a time, and once I clear that shelf off, then I might do two shelves at a time. Uh, I've had people here sorting. Uh, I've had, uh, I think, three people here at different points. Uh, I did a couple more tours as well. People came in and kind of saw what was going on. Uh, all sorts of stuff going on over here. Uh, and the next category was uh, washed. I ended up washing the uh, vehicle parts. However, it wasn't all the vehicle parts. Uh, unfortunately, there was just too much of them. Uh, there was two full totes, and I did one, and then now we're, we started filling this one up again, 
uh, because I also had some vehicle parts over here that were in these small containers. So these are all empty now, so I can move them. Uh, but yeah, we went through and washed a category, and I'm probably going to think about washing another category soon. Uh, but we're moving on, getting things done. Uh, I can't think of anything else right off. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of parts in at least one of these bins over here. So that's really cool. Uh, and so yeah, we're going to continue to make the progress that I'm making. I uh, have uh, no one coming over tomorrow that I recall. Hall, and someday I've got two people coming uh, and there will be some overlap. Ben will be in at four and somebody else will be in at two so they'll probably overlap a little bit. Um, but shouldn't be a problem because Ben works way over there past all that stuff and then the other people usually work over here. Uh, but yeah that is kind of what's going on. Uh, there was uh, found some more color sorted pieces here just a a bag of some other bags of pieces in here so we'll probably get to that next uh, just because it's a little easier to deal with in some ways and I don't know just get it done uh, let's see over here we found uh, this set or at least the car for that set is in the lower tote um, and so I don't know if the motorcycle is there anywhere or not but yeah got that stuff going on and we've apparently found two catapults that were basically the same thing so they have just been set aside I don't know anything about them we've got some other little small technic vehicle here this truck that's kind of cool I see we have a lock that got found um, we found a six-sided die that's kind of cool um, so yeah just random stuff oh and then when we washed vehicle parts this broke this uh, I believe this is a I think that's standard brown that's probably why it broke um, and I was thinking I might look into uh, how much it was worth that got lost, but it's probably not too much. It's These plain fuselage pieces are probably not terribly expensive, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, yeah, so I've got the rejects parts here. That other container there is reject parts. And then this is parts that I'm finding that are in the wrong subcategory of modified plate, so they need to go into the right category. But I haven't done any of these categories yet, so I'll just as I do them, I'll pull those parts out. But that's all I got for right now. Um, as always, thank you very much. If you've got any questions, please leave them down below. Hello. So I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff done. It is Sunday evening. Uh, I had one person here and Ben is over in his corner doing stuff. We're not gonna go over there today. Um, basically, I've got a whole bunch of additional modified plate. These are the ones with the pin connectors that I commonly go on to the wheel assemblies with tires and that sort of thing. Uh, so I've got a whole bunch of those. A couple of these are a little different. Like these are vertical ones. They're probably for like helicopter blades. And then these, which turn out to be train pieces. But they still kind of have that clip in there. Uh, so that's kind of how this is broken down. Uh, i got a whole bunch more parts put away. As you can see, I've only got these five totes. And then the two over there that are the same left of uh, the modified plate. And it was taking up two full shelves plus I think one or two totes on the next one. Uh, as soon as I get the next one done then I'll condense and I'll move these back onto the cart but I needed to get the cart to be able to put the drawers on to put them away. Uh, but we're doing pretty well there and uh, I had a couple of orders to fill earlier today. They're both people from the lug. One of them was somebody who was here so he basically filled the order handed them the pieces and the other one uh, I will see him probably Wednesday or I'll see his brother and then he'll pick them up for him. So i uh, got a lot going on. And this is probably going to be the last update for the vlog, although we'll see. I might come up with something else at the very end. Uh, I would say the most interesting thing is this piece here in the middle. Uh, this is a color that doesn't seem to uh, uh, be very common. And it's a medium, oh, what was it again? I don't know, some, some weird color. Uh, it's only in one set in this color from like 99, and it's like a Belleville set. So yeah, it was kind of interesting. And I put a sand purple and one of the rust pieces there. We uh, found two more. So there's two still down there and then this one here. So I've got three of them now. So I'm going to start saving some pieces that are of colors that I don't have. Um, this one here, I was almost going to list. I said, oh, I'm going to keep it for color reference, rust one and the sand purple. So I've kind of put those over on top of my color chart. Uh, so yeah, that is what I got going on at the moment. 
and uh, thank you very much. Hello. So this is actually going to be the last section for the vlog this week. I've uh, got some more parts over here. These are parts with pin connectors, either the small ones or these larger ones, you know, like this. Uh, these are already in a file, and all these are going to be ready to go into a file. I'll probably get to that tomorrow. Uh, but I, while Ben was still here, I had him go through and sort by color. So you can see I've got mostly light bluish gray, one light gray. Nice mix. A little bit of a mix, a little bit of a mix. And here as well. Um, so yeah, these are all ready to go. And then I'll have these categories done. So that's kind of exciting. And I'll just have those five categories and then the sixth category was the purple lidded ones over there um we've had a lot of sorting going on and we'll look over here we've got uh quite a large and full tote of non-lego items and then over here these totes are getting full again so they're going to need to get dumped off uh and then these totes are doing quite well i mean this one here the large plates that's going to have to be worked on soon but I mean I still have over an entire bin of vehicle parts so I think that's the next one I'm gonna I'm gonna wash more of the vehicle parts and then along with those vehicle parts up there pretty much a full tote overflowing we will then do a massive vehicle sort vehicle parts sort uh, a lot of those are larger pieces so that it'll be a little easier to do in some ways uh, Technic is another one right here I've got a tote and a half right now plus all these are technically sorted by type Technic pieces I may not wash those and then this bin has got a whole bunch of Technic in it as well so there's a lot of Technic going on uh, so that is that um, I had uh, Paul was over today and he took a bunch of his trans neon orange pieces but we left some here as well um, and so yeah we've got some more stuff this is the uh, order that Rob placed so it's put in his bin, ready to go as soon as he stops by, or if his brother stops by, he can pick that up for him. Uh, over here, so, oh, and <laughs> I picked up uh, two of the Luke's Land Speeder sets at uh, Walmart for $120 apiece. That was a great deal. Um, and over this way, Ben was working over in the minifigures for most of the night. We got... Uh, He's got a lot of the way through the tote that was sorted, and then also there was a box of additional minifigures that I think he dumped into this, and he's been going through these as well. So there's all sorts of new stuff going on for that. Uh, he did take a few pieces, but yeah, this is what's going on for that. Um, I have also started working on the minifigures. Uh, so these are the boxes I'm going to use, and I'm stealing this idea from others. Uh, so basically, we're going to have... And we populated some here, so it's the way I'm going to do it is the box will have a two letter code like everything else, so in this case, maybe ZZ, uh, and then that'll be uh, column one, two, three, four, or ABCD. I haven't sure, probably ABCD. So it'll be ZZA, ZZB, ZZC, and ZZD, and then they'll be numbered, and then numbers will go right on these outer Ziploc bags. And it'll be barcoded, and we'll scan them in so that once this figure gets listed, it'll have the barcode on this Ziploc. So when it sells, we'd open up this Ziploc here with the number on it, pull the inner Ziploc out to ship the uh, figure to the customer, and then keep this Ziploc with the barcode and put it at the beginning of the column to indicate that it's empty. So that when we need to put more figures away, we can just go, okay, well, here we go, and then it's already got a barcode and everything. So that is my plan for this system. Uh, I've got to now print the barcodes for those, so that's going to take me some time. And uh, I've got two of these boxes, so we'll probably do ZZ and ZY. We'll go backwards uh, at the end of the alphabet just to make sure we don't run into each other from both ends. And that is pretty much what we got going on over here. Um, I don't know. we got uh, other stuff that's come into the basement, but uh, not a ton of stuff in any one place. Like... Uh, these are a couple of sets here. This police car that I uh, found on clearance that I'm going to use, uh, bring it in, donate for lug support. Uh, this helmet somebody in the lug had wanted, and we traded something at the swap meet for that. So I'm going to bring that to the next meeting. Hopefully he'll be there. Uh, just all sorts of stuff going on. I'm trying to keep things organized. It's not the easiest, as you can well imagine. 
But that is all I have for this particular vlog. As always, thank you very much. Questions and comments down below. If you've got any ideas for things you'd like to see down below. And uh, yeah, we will just go forward and see what we can come up with with the next vlog. Thank you very much.